we all make mistakes. Some are small, some are large. But his mistake, born of innocence, fueled by pride, was the greatest and most terrible of them all. Some believed when the prince journeyed to the island of time to escape death, that he returned alone. The amulet destroyed. The Dahaka appeased. The Empress dead. The prince was free at last. But this is not how it happened. The truth is that he chose to save me from my destiny. In doing so, he set me free. And doomed us all. Prince, of all the possible futures, this one held the most promise, but something has changed. Do not worry, Kailina. No harm will come to you in Babylon. I promise. Look, we are nearly home. As our ship lay sinking in the harbor, the prince found himself in a city quite different from the one he left behind. The normally busy wharves were now decimated. Blood-spattered awnings and splintered door frames were all that waited to greet him. And the people, merchants, beggars, fishermen, were nowhere to be found. Others had taken their place. If you require a break, by all means. Take your time. The prince made his way along the torn and blasted district, haunted by visions from his past. The dockside tavern where he'd spent many late nights was now reduced to cinders. Babylon's proud armada, which he would often come to greet, lay cracked and broken, cast to the bottom of the Euphrates. Everywhere there are signs of battle, but what of Babylon's guard? Where have they all gone?
this where I should wood? This is a fine place to start the tale next time. Why is it that every time disaster strikes, I find myself without a proper blade? Still, it's better than nothing. Elena! No! No way into the city now. I will have to climb this siege tower and enter from above. Sense the others who have passed through this place, intent on bringing harm to my family. Four weeks I've been at sea, and every day spent dreaming of my return to Babylon. But never, in all my visions of the future, did I suspect a homecoming such as this. War. It is the only answer. But war with who?
Shall I continue my story from here if you are called away? You should know that it was not love that drove him, but duty. I was his responsibility. He had made a promise, a promise that was now broken and undone. As with all mistakes he had made, the prince meant to fix this. A noble goal to be certain, but a selfish one as well. For he was motivated to ease his own pain. I know these streets. Knew them anyway. I must keep pace with Kylina if I am to find the one responsible for this.
Should I continue from here? I will continue my story from here next time. Where is kind Asha, who would stand before her stall selling fruits and flowers? Or the errant children, making trouble as all young ones do? Gone. All gone. Where is kind Asha, who would stand before her stall selling fruits and flowers? Or the errant children, making trouble as all young ones do? Gone. All gone.
Where is kind Asha, who would stand before her stall selling fruits and flowers? Or the errant children, making trouble as all young ones do? Gone. All gone. Continue. Good. This is a fine place to start the tale next time. Home. And yet nothing is as I remember. Objects once familiar and comforting now fill me with uncertainty and dread. What has happened here?
I should be resting now, recovering from my time away, or sitting with father. Instead, I'm forced to run and hide, sneaking about like a common thief, hunted in my own city. Is this where I should resume I will continue my story from here next time?
Pay attention to what the prince overheard as he drew close to where I was being kept. Shall I continue my story from here if you are called away? Should I continue from here when you return? Many years ago, I journeyed with the Maharaja of India to the island of time, intending to claim its secret. <gasps> Many years ago, I journeyed with the Maharaja of India to the island of time, intending to claim its secrets. What we discovered was a barren, ruined place, its halls deserted, and its guardians gone to sand. Strange tales upon its walls, which spoke of an empress, an empress of time. But of this enigmatic creature, there was no trace. We returned to India with treasure nonetheless, a staff. A dagger, an empty hourglass covered in jewels, and books! Such secrets they contained! For even then I was an older man, and knew that my time would soon be at an end. The books showed me that life eternal was not beyond my reach, but it required the essence of the Empress herself, the power of the sands. But you were gone. They were gone. Or so I said. I turned my attention towards other pursuits and left that dream behind. But then, four weeks ago, the dagger stirred and showed me things, whispered to me in my sleep. It drew me here, towards Babylon. Alas, the Maharaja did not share my vision, would not grant me leave. So I slew him and claimed his kingdom, his army for my own. Nothing would stand between me and my desire. Recklessly, the prince drew his weapon and charged forward, intending to rescue me. It was as if he had learned nothing from his past adventures. Or perhaps he'd simply forgotten, made blind and deaf by fear and rage. This 
idea. Ah, you must be the Prince of Persia. Come home at last. Too late, I'm afraid. I believe I have something of yours. No! Father, forgive what I have done, wherever you are. Would you like to hear more? This where I could. This is a fine place to start the tale next time.
I continue my I will continue my story from here next time. Once more the wheels of suffering are set in motion by my hand. In taking Kylina from the island of time, I have changed the course of history. Without the sands of time, I never journeyed to Azad, never killed the vizier. Now he lives again, driven by the same mad desire. I promised no harm would come to her. Should I continue for good? This is a fine place to start the tale next time. I am being pushed deeper into the palace, and further from my enemy. My arm! What's happening? What has the vizier done to me? I don't... Everything had come full circle. The prince had resurrected his greatest enemy. Worse, he had accidentally delivered me into the man's hands, unleashing a nightmare plague across Babylon. As if this was not enough, the prince had nearly been transformed by the sands himself. Though he had avoided death, he had not escaped entirely untouched. Wake up, prince. Wake up. Wake up! The way behind you is gone, so you will have to find another exit from these sewers. Shall I continue my will? Continue my story from here next Be time. Quick about it. Start moving. What? Who's there? Be careful. The planks are slick. Mind your balance. seem to like the light. Lead them into the light! Strike while they are blind! 
Monster? Call it what you will, Prince. But you have been given the ability to destroy your enemies. Now use it. What benefit is this? Even as I fight them, I grow weaker. Kill them then. Let their lives be as yours. It is, if you are to obey. I do not. But... Why then is this happening to me? You have been infected by the sands of time. 
as I am sure you have noticed. Maybe it's the dagger. Maybe it's all the time you've spent amongst the sands. Or <laughs> amongst the Empress. Either way, you are resisting it. Mostly. Mostly? You did just transform into something rather unique. So I think the word is quite appropriate. Think of it this way. You have been given a gift. You are stronger, faster. Uglier. Now, now. That explains the transformation. But who are you? Have you not realized? I am your untapped potential, your unrealized dreams. I am part of you. You... you're inside me? seems to fight this corruption. Why did you hide this from me? What? And ruin all the fun?
Should I continue from here when you return? When the prince was struck by the sands of time, something was woken within. Something strange and cunning. Something dark. The seven years spent on the run had embittered the prince and made him hard. This burden sustained his other half, gave it strength. The prince was tempted to do as it said, for it was a light in the darkness, offering comfort and guidance to a man who had just lost everything. But what were its intentions? Why did it happen? But only time would tell. Where I should resume the tale next time? Babylon, but so far away. As a child, father would tell me stories. Pay about attention, something's happening down there. Vizier! He has been completely transformed! Interesting. He has used the power of the sands to transform his army. And these artifacts will allow him to transport them across the city with ease. He appears to be in complete control. Things do not look too good for you at the moment. I will not let the Vizier have Babylon! My city! My throne! He has used that beam as a gate. We will follow him through it. certainly went according to plan, did it not? You really should know by now. I will simply have to resort to a more traditional form of transport. Hopefully with greater success.
Sound team is composed of Alice Bernier, lead sound designer, Anne Lee Steitem, sound designer, Olivier Girard, Simon LeDuc, and Dave Blake, sound integrators, Robin LaFortune, sound programmer, and the sound back for aggressive negotiation. Sure you can control this thing? Let us hope! If I crash, it is the end for both of us! The Prince! Stop him! And so once more the Prince began the journey home. His mind afire with visions of the justice he would visit upon the Vizier. 
That chariot should get us home. He did run into Done well, Prince. Though I am sure it was not intentional. Watch out! Now that was close. Behind that column. The once bright and vibrant streets of Babylon now stood all but deserted, its inhabitants either dead or fled. Those left behind suffered terribly, captured, tortured, and transformed. But the prince did not notice this. So focused was he on the vizier. I'm impressed. Oh, good. Your opinion means a great deal to me. Is that how you thank the man who just saved your life? First, you did not save my life. I did. Second, you are not a man. Just a disembodied voice. A ghost. And third, I never asked for your help. And I certainly do not need it. While I admire your bravado, you would be wise to show some respect. And you would be wise to keep quiet. You are distracting me and we are no longer alone. Should I continue for good? This is a fine place to start the tale next time. Go! Whatever the others! Why are you doing this? We have done nothing wrong. Save your crying for someone who cares. I should do something. Go ahead, all to your death. That will be of great use to them. It will continue until you have defeated the Vizier. You cannot help these people. Then let us make haste.
so these creatures seem to feed off the sands. Kill them before they steal any more from you! <laughs> Onward and upward, friends. Hurry to the palace and reclaim your throne. I'm moving as fast as I can. What do you suggest? That I grow wings and fly? One can always dream. Babylon's defenders still live. The city is not yet taken. Is this where I should... I will continue my story from here next time. Perhaps father is among them. Is there you have done me a great service show yourself that I might thank you so very strange I wonder no 
It is silly to think such things. Indeed. Irritating little detour. But let us be on with it. Head down to street level and we will look for a way to regain the rooftops. You are an insistent inner voice, aren't you? Well, someone has to make the decisions.
Should I continue? Good. This is a fine place to start the tale next time. I don't like the looks of this. This thing was once a man. He was there when Kylina died. For the eyes, Prince. He cannot kill you if he cannot see you. Is this where I should resume the tale next time?
The prince fled from the arena, embarrassed by the unwanted attention, fearful that they might realize he was becoming a fan monster. But something tugged at him. The freed citizens believed he had come to rescue them. The people, his people, now live when they should have died. This was just an accident. His thoughts had been only of reaching the Vizier and exacting revenge. Perhaps now the Prince would remember he once fought for something other than his lost honor. It was simply too soon to tell. Eagerly await your response. I have heard tales, wondrous tales of a beautiful and brave princess of India. One who has traveled to Babylon seeking to punish an evil vizier who has caused her great distress. See? Now she's going to kill us. How in the world have you managed to survive this long? Good luck, stranger. never happened. You know, no sands of time, no Azad. You get the vizier, but you lose the girl. It doesn't matter. We're better off without her. Or have you forgotten? Maybe a few arrows in the back will help stir your memory. We must catch up with her. Fair enough. Well, I suspect you and I want very different things from the girl.
Should I continue from here when you return? You still have feelings for her, admit it. Farah and I went through so much together. Though she may not remember, I can never forget. possess that here we go again I took it from the vizier that traitor he murdered my father enslaved my people imprisoned me and all in the name of becoming some kind of God I know too well what he is capable of but I intend to find him and punish him for what he has done to my kingdom you are the son of Sharaman the Prince of Persia and you are the daughter of the Maharaja we both seek the same thing. Perhaps we should journey together. Perhaps. Provided you can keep up. I grow tired of her little tests. It is simply her way. I assure you, she will prove a valuable ally. I'm impressed. I suppose it is wise to work together. There is strength in numbers, after all. 
I'm glad you've come around. Just don't make me regret it. Now let us find the vizier. With the Dahaka defeated, the prince was slowly regaining pieces of his former self. The pressure and desperation which once drove him were gone. Grim as things seemed, there was now hope. Hope that peace could be restored to the land and to our tortured hero. But the vizier's army still hunted him. And they grew more determined by the hour. What is that thing? It's the Vizier. What's happened to him? Something terrible. Something wonderful. Wait! No! Be happy that he is gone. You never would have stood a chance. Oh, how silly of me. You're right. Perhaps we should surrender. Or turn away and leave the city. I know a lovely little island just a few weeks' journey from here. I'm sure by the time we return, this will all be sorted out. If it comforts you to mock me, then by all means continue. But you are so focused on killing him, you've thrown strategy completely out the window. You could have died. I suppose. But now we need to find a way to enter the temple. We're wasting time here. That seems to be our best bet. You may not be able to see these creatures, but you can still hear them.
I'm not sure I like how this girl is always charging ahead. Fear not, she has already proved a valuable asset to us. Thinking about what Farah said earlier, she has a point. How do you plan to kill the Vizier? He's immortal now. The dagger made him into what he is. It can unmake him. I suppose we will know the truth of this soon enough.
You know, I've been thinking about what Farah said earlier. She has a point. When do you plan to kill the Vizier? He's immortal now. The dagger made him into what he is. It can unmake him. I suppose we will know the truth of this soon enough.
Such a beautiful building. Father built these gardens as a symbol of his love for our people. Once, all the kingdom was like this. Try using these levers. If I can reach the other side, I might be able to find a way to open that door. Foolish, standing around like this. 